Like a lot of people with small workshops, I use this two horsepower dust collector and this series of four inch PVC pipe for the dust collection system in my workshop. This system works really good, but it's going to be even better now with my new over-engineered gasket clamp. This new gasket clamp helps me solve two problems. First, it's a good idea to seal all the connections between the pipes and the fittings in this system. It might seem like there's not very much leakage at each one of these joints, but when you've got 30 or 40 different joints, that can add up. The typical solution for this is to use some sort of sealant or tape on this joint. Silicone makes a great seal and looks pretty good, but when you have to take this apart, that's a lot of cleanup. Tape is a lot cheaper and a lot faster, but it can leave a sticky residue and doesn't look that great in my opinion. My new gasket clamp has two foam gaskets on the inside that seal around both the pipe fitting and the pipe. It's installed with two screws and that means it's easy to remove and reconfigure pipe at any time without dealing with sticky tape or silicone. The other problem that this clamp solves is how to mount these pipes to the ceiling or the wall. I currently use 3D printed straps to hold the pipe to the ceiling or the wall, but they're not the sturdiest and they don't really work well on the wall because the pipe can still slide through it. When I was designing this clamp, I thought it would be a good idea to incorporate some sort of mounting system that works with the clamps. This bracket slides onto the clamp and provides a secure way to mount the clamp to the ceiling or the wall. I've actually been testing this gasket clamp on this run of piping to my bandsaw for more than a year now, and it's been working really good. So let's 3D print some more, and I'll show you how they work in a little more detail. A 3D printer is one of my favorite woodworking tools, especially when it comes to dust collection. I often need a pipe fitting or pipe adapter that you can't find in stores and it's not too difficult to design and 3D print those yourself. When I show 3D printed parts in my videos, I often get comments saying how unrelatable they are because they don't have a 3D printer themselves to make these parts. And that's why JLC3DP is sponsoring this video to show us you don't need to have a 3D printer or know anything about 3D printing to get in on the fun. I ordered these five materials to see how they compare to the one that I print at home. The first one here is the exact same material printed on an FDM machine and they look nearly identical. These three parts here in the middle are all SLA prints made from resin and they have exceptional surface quality compared to my FDM machine. Especially this black one which nearly looks injection molded. This last one is made on an SLS machine and it's made from nylon and is very durable and flexible and has a unique surface finish to it that I kind of like. All five of these look really good and are all nearly perfect. They fit together well and have no defects on them. I'm going to try all five of these on my system and see which one I like the best. There's actually two versions of this pipe clamp and they cover the scenarios I find on my piping. The first one I call the stepped gasket clamp and it's the most common and it addresses the connection between a pipe and a fitting. The step accounts for the height difference in the two pieces and allows it to clamp down evenly. I've cut this one in half so that you can see how that step works. The foam I'm using here is two strips of half inch thick EPDM foam. And there's two rings on the outside of this clamp that set the compression of those pieces of foam. When the clamp is tightened down, it can only go as far as when those two outside rings touch the pipe. That keeps the gasket compressed in a good position and keeps you from over tightening it. I also make sure to extend the gasket just past the edge of the clamp here in the middle. That way, when it's clamped together, there is also a tight seal between the ends of the gasket as it's being clamped. The flat version of the clamp is just like the stepped one, but without the step. 
And that's for when you've got two fittings right next to each other and there's no step. Looking at the cross section again, you might wonder why this side has a triangle lip, but this one's flat. And that's purely for 3D printing. In order to print in this orientation, to have an overhang like this on the top, it needs to be supported from below. You can see on the bottom here, there's no triangular support because it's not needed when printed in this orientation. The mounting block is pretty simple, but it's got a couple of unique design features. First, I wanted every clamp to be a mounting clamp if it needed to be, and so every clamp is printed with these two ears on the bottom. Those two ears just dovetail into the mounting block, and then these two set screws lock it in place. These set screws don't actually go into the clamp. They just protrude into a small divot on the bottom of these ears. That keeps the two parts from being able to slide apart, and the dovetail geometry is really what locks these together and takes all the load. The reason it's designed like this is so that everything is accessible from the front. If this was already on a pipe on the wall and I wanted to add a mounting bracket, I could do that and I could get to the screws. These clamps work great when they're slid on from the end and are easy to install. But another requirement I had was I wanted to be able to install these on existing pipes so I didn't have to take apart my system that's already mounted. That means I needed to open up far enough to go around the pipe this way. In order to accomplish that, I had to add all these little splits around the outside rings. That makes this flexible enough to open wide enough and allows me to install it on existing pipe. It took me several iterations to get to this final design. And you can see that on a few of my early prototypes. Here's version two, which only had four splits on it and it was still too stiff to open around the pipe. It also only had one mounting location and no ears. By version three, I'd figured out I needed more splits to make it flexible, but still hadn't figured out how to do the mounting and was only using one screw. By version six, I had all of the splits, figured out how to do the mounting, and was starting to realize that two screws would make clamping a little bit easier. That led me to this final design, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. The only problem is I need about 45 more. If you've used PVC pipe before, you know there can be some variation. Take this joint for example. It slips right in and without an extra screw would otherwise just fall down on its own. It's joints like these that I'm happy for my new clamp because I know even with a loose joint like this, it's going to be airtight. Since we're on the subject of cool 3D printed dust collection parts, here's one I just printed 
for the hose to my drill press. As you can see, the four inch PVC pipe goes into this end of the coupler. And on the other end, I've printed the threads that match the standard four inch flex hose. That means it just threads on to the end. And once it's threaded on all the way, it's essentially self sealing. And I don't need to use one of these pipe clamps, which I find never really worked that well on the outside of this spiral anyway. The rest of my drill press dust collection has been a work in progress for a while, and I hope to get this finished in a future project. It took me longer than expected, but now every single pipe joint has a gasket clamp on it. And if that's not a sealed system, I don't know what is. I was only able to install these three gasket clamps from JLC 3DP, and that's because I broke two of them while installing. And that's not a fault of the manufacturer, but a fault of me picking out materials that are too brittle and not flexible enough for this application. One of the SLA prints worked fine, my favorite one is the SLS nylon printed one there, and the PLA version there matches all of my other ones that I made. If you're into dust collection as much as me, and you want to print some of these for your workshop, I've got a detailed set of plans as well as the 3D files on my website. And if you don't have a 3D printer yourself, you can check out JLC 3DP to help you print some for your workshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project.